I do not want to hear the criticism. You can keep it to yourself. My life is already hard enough on its own and I'm already hard enough on myself. You contributing with like, oh my God, I don't like this about you. You have to change this. Who are you? Excuse me. Did you, did you, did you give me money? Did you pay my bills? Because if you, if next time somebody wants to give their opinion about my life, you're going to have to pay my bills because you ain't paying no bills. You ain't living my life. You are not going through what I'm going through. And you think you have the audacity to tell me how I should live my life. No, it doesn't work like that. If you're not contributing to either my happiness, to my bills, to anything that makes me happy, you're not relevant to me. And if you have an issue with me, you can always call me. You don't have my number, honey. You're not important. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, okay, so I am dealing with a lot of things right now. I'm healing some traumas that I have. And you know, in order to heal some traumas, you need to relive the traumas, you need to go to therapy, you need to journal, you need to do all these things. And I'm working on it. So that's why I'm not making videos because I'm literally going through my traumas again and reopening them so I can heal from them and I can move on in my life, which is so important. But so all these people have been messaging me and saying, Liz, 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 how do I, how do I not care about what this person is saying? How do I not care if I don't have friends? How do I not? What? Like, are you guys in a pandemic or something? Because I'm not following. Why do you care about them? What? Like, are these people paying your bills? What are they doing for you? The thing with me is I always grew up in a household where there was always like, don't do this. What will people say? Don't do this. People will say this. Oh, no. And it was all about that. And I just felt controlled by my environment. And I don't like to be controlled by anyone. I need my freedom. I'm a human. I deserve freedom as well, you know? Um, so I just came to realize that, you know what? Everybody will grow old. Like all these people that are gossiping right now, that are spreading your stuff around, that are doing all these things, they're all be old one day. They're going to be grandpas. They're going to be grandmas. And, and then what? You think they'll care when they're six years old about you? No, nobody will. Everybody will forget about you. Do you really want to live your life thinking like, oh my God, what will they say? They will be old and they'll also die. You know, everybody will die. You know, you guys live like you have so much time. Life flies by like this. Like, oh my God, do you guys remember COVID? That was insane. It's already like, what, three years ago almost? Or like, it's insane. It feels like yesterday. And now we're here. Life flies by fast. I don't have time to worry about you. I don't have time for you. I'm sorry. People that are literally living their rock bottom life, living a pathetic life, are the ones to tell you what you should do. Like the comments, you know what? The comments I get on TikTok, Jimmy from his basement telling me what he does not like about me. Well, Jimmy, I don't like you either. I don't like anything about you. But you don't see me saying that. Do you think any person that is successful right now would have been successful if they would have cared what other people think? You see, but there's a difference. I'm not saying do illegal stuff. I'm not saying do stuff that are not, you know, if you're religious, if they don't go really well with your religion, you know what, that's not you. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But you know what, I honestly don't care about other people. I really don't. You can call me selfish, but I am so focused on myself. I, you will never ever catch me in the comment section. Oh my God, this girl is so ugly. Oh my God, what are you doing? I don't care. You live your life. You want to go do that, that's on you. You want to go do this, that's on you. Do whatever, leave me alone. Leave me alone. The thing is, also people say like, yeah, but when it's family, it's so hard. How do you not care about family things? Uh, I have fought the biggest battle with this one parent of mine. And I'm still fighting this battle. They don't want me on social media. I want to continue my social media. You think if I would have listened to them, I would have the life that I wanted? No, absolutely not. I would have been nowhere. Nowhere and unhappy. Do I want to be unhappy because of somebody that does not care about me? No, I don't. So I choose myself and I will always continue to choose myself. I'll ignore you and I'll do my own thing. You literally have to unalive me to stop me. That's how bad I want what I want. And that's how bad I'm going to get what I want. If you have a goal and if you want to achieve something, 
so bad, you will automatically not care about anybody else because you have tunnel vision. You literally only look at the goal and you're like, I'm, I'm going to accomplish this no matter what, no matter what. So whatever these people are saying, you can't do it. You can't, I'm going to show all of you that I can, but I, I won't tell you guys. I just do it. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm in the point of my life. I don't need to prove anything to anybody. Because I have been through so much stuff in my life, alone, on my own. There was no, there was nobody to help me. And all these people that want to give their opinion. Now, where were you guys? Where were you guys when I was literally in rock bottom? You guys weren't there. You guys have not walked a mile in my shoes. So don't tell me how to tie my shoelaces, honey. It's different. So um, if somebody tells me like, Liz, I don't really appreciate if you do this. And, it, you know, like good opinion like giving like okay look this is not nice can you change this up i appreciate that i appreciate being told what i'm doing wrong what i'm doing is wrong and i can improve on that i appreciate that and i always try to improve but you telling me stupid stuff was like oh my god this is embarrassing what you're doing i'm ashamed i'm this and that i'm trying to just downplay me as a human being Honey, I will not listen to you. And you have to realize most people are projecting. You think those bullies, you think those people that are gossiping about you, you think those people that are calling you ugly, stupid, dumb, all these things, you think those people are happy? Honey, let me tell you, those people are the unhappiest of them all. They're just projecting their own insecurities onto you and that's how they feel better about themselves. But you know what? They go to bed at night still with the same bitter heart. You know why I, I leave those people alone and you know why I will never ever seek revenge? Because those people have to live with themselves and that's punishment enough, honestly. And to be honest, I just cannot afford to be like, oh my God, what would they say? What would they think? Uh, I don't have time for that. I'm just very honest, like I don't have, I have goals to accomplish, I have things to do. Um, if you have time to always be sad about whatever somebody's saying about you, you're not, you're not doing enough. You're literally, this is your fault. You're not doing enough because if you're focused on your goal and you're trying to get there and you're trying to do everything possible, the noise becomes like noise and you don't hear them. You don't hear them at all. You know? And I swear, like, I swear, I swear, I swear the people that hate you in the beginning, once you become successful are the same ones that are like, Hi, hey, this. Can you give me advice? No, I can't give you advice. Go away. These people that are that you are wondering like, oh my God, I hope they like me. They don't even like themselves. You have to wonder like, do they even like themselves? Like really look at this person, not emotionally. Look, like, look logically. Are these people, do you think these people are happy with their lives? I'm going to tell you a secret. They're miserable. They are miserable. It does not matter how much money they have. It does not matter how good looking they are. If their inside is not healed, if their inside does not feel good, they will always try to project it onto you. You have your power of not reacting. Don't punish yourself for somebody else's mistakes. Don't do that. Life becomes very peaceful when you're able to say, you know what, I am not giving my energy to this. I'm giving my energy to making myself feel better, to making myself feel good, and that's it. Because wherever your attention goes, your energy flows. I read this book about Joe Dispenza who made it so, so clear that if you put your energy onto something that's negative, you're gonna attract more negative. Do you want negative? No. Let them gossip, let them talk, let them do whatever. They're miserable. They're miserable people. They're miserable. These people will never ever accomplish anything in their life. They'll just be miserable forever. That's it. Okay, I'm so sorry this is a short video, but honestly, I don't have this feeling of caring about others. Like, honestly, I don't. I really don't. If you do not contribute to anything in my life, you do not have a right to give me your opinion, to give me your criticism, to try to bully me, or to try to tell me what I should or should not do. Next time you, you even think about doing that of, of like, oh, let me, let me make Liz feel bad today. PayPal me money. Give me money and I will feel maybe a tiny bit bad. But honestly, I do not care about you. And I do not care about your opinion. So on that note, I want to end this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry that it's so quick. Um, but I just want to hop on YouTube and say like, don't care about people. Care about yourself. 
put your energy towards yourself, honey. Whatever they say, karma will get them. God is God sees everything. It will come back to them 10 times harder. And like I said, the worst thing is they'll have to sleep at night knowing that they're in their own body. Like imagine being so bitter, having that heart and having to sleep at night. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be that person. That those people are just projecting their own selves and that they don't even like themselves. So focus on yourself. I know you can make it. I know you're a badass and I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.